Hi, I'm Dr. Mark Rosenberg of HowToStretch.com and today we're going to have a stretch class a little different than the first one. Some classes I'm going to lead you through, some classes I'm going to teach a lot of details. All are designed to bring you up in ability as the weeks and months go by. So today, for today's class, let's start by sitting up comfortably. And we're going to work on a breathing exercise first. Place your hand on your chest, your other hand on your belly. Breathe in your nose, into your belly. Exhale out, out of the belly. Again, the diaphragm drops. Inhale in, the lungs expand. Exhale out. So there's no movement in your upper hand. Now once you accomplish this, Okay, you don't need to hold your hands in those positions. Just breathe in. Long, slow inhale. Exhale out. Long, slow exhale. Inhale in. Long, slow inhale. Exhale out. Long, slow exhale. One more time, inhale in, exhale out. Now bring your chin down to your chest, stretching out the muscles in the back of your neck. Bring your head back up, stretching out the front of your neck. Back to the center, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Come back to the center, bring your left ear to your left shoulder. Feel the stretch from the corner of your shoulder all the way up to the base of your neck. Now come back, let's do that again, chin down. Keep your eyes open and you're breathing in, exhaling out, nice and relaxed. And bring your head back, inhale back, exhale all the way back. Back to the center, here to the right side. Back to the center, here to the left side. I'm not moving my shoulders, I'm just moving my head so I can stretch not only the outer layers of the neck muscles, but closer into the spine. Come back to the center, bring your chin down, and with your mouth closed, roll your neck in a big circle. Then go the other way. You might hear a little bit of crackling and popping. Sometimes you can get calcium deposits in the joints, what's commonly called arthritis. Sometimes just to build up of toxins in the muscles. Sometimes a combination of both. But when we work it out, you'll find that over time a lot of that crickling and crackling goes away. Extend your right leg out in front of you, tuck your left foot in, as we did on uh, video one, have your hips square. Reach up, inhale, inhale in, exhale down. Grab hold of whatever you can. Inhale, exhale, pull down a little further. Now I'm looking out over my foot. And this is how long I actually hold the stretches for to improve my ability. Inhale. Exhale. And in between when I'm not uh, instructing a deeper breath, still keep breathing and try and keep breathing in the nose. Out. Inhale, 
Exhale, ask your body to give you a little bit more. And I'm not just pulling down, I'm also pulling forward a little bit. Extend the arms next to the ears. Inhale up. Exhale down. Okay, switch legs. Place your other leg out in front of you. Tuck the foot into the groin. Get the hips so that they're square. Reach up. Inhale. Exhale down. When you can no longer keep your arms next to your ears, that's when you bring them down. Inhale. Exhale. And fresh oxygen to the muscles. Allows the body to get rid of lactic acid. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, come down a little further. Each time, even if you're up high, just ask it, maybe an eighth of an inch, just a little bit, to come down further and further. We're not just trying to stretch muscles, we're trying to retrain them. It's your nerves that tells the muscles to stay tight. When you hold this position, your brain is sending a message to those nerves telling those muscles to let go. At the same time, the, the physics of the motion is stretching through leverage the muscle's length. So you get two things happening at once. The breathing enhances relaxation. That's another thing. Inhale, exhale, all designed to help with your flexibility. One more time. Inhale, exhale, come down. Extend the arms next to the ears. Very important. Inhale. And exhale down. I exaggerated the breath so you could hear it, but that's important when you inhale. Inhale up. Okay, bottoms of the feet together. If you're comfortable like this, fine. If you have to put your back against the wall, fine. Okay, what I want you to do first is inhale. Exhale, relax the knees down. Inhale. Exhale. Now start to come forward a little bit. Note I said forward, not down. My initial motion when I start moving is not down, but forward. My goal is to get my belly button to my heels. Okay, take a deep breath in, exhale, come forward, inhale, exhale, my hands are lightly holding my feet, I'm not pulling back on them. I don't have my elbows back here unless I wish to push on my feet, which for some people may be a good thing. Uh, I'm having my elbows in front of my legs and I'm just allowing my back to stretch forward. Inhale. Exhale. Without putting any extra pressure on my legs. My back is straight. Inhale. Exhale. You don't want your back curved here. And we're trying to keep this whole sacrum area forward as you stretch. Inhale. Exhale. 